Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnston. Jackie works with our online sales and fitting department. Jackie, thanks so much for joining. Yeah, I'm excited to test this out and see what the difference is between a uh, hybrid and a uh, four iron. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be testing the Titleist TS2 21 degree hybrid versus a four iron, the AP3 four iron. What's unique about this test is both of them have the exact same loft on them, both 21 degrees of loft. Now, Jackie has told me her longest iron in her bag is a five iron, is that correct? That is correct, yep. Yep, so we're gonna be showcasing today why players should consider playing a hybrid over an iron, especially those longer irons in your bag, especially for those players that have a little slower swing speed. So I'm gonna get Jackie today to hit some shots and test the differences between these two clubs. That was Boom. Yep. Very nice, good swing. Okay, so Jackie, you're, you're four shots in. Look at that consistency. You were hovering right around about 200 yards every single time. You, those shots had to feel really good. Yeah, the, this definitely feels awesome. Uh, even on the miss hit there on the right, like it still went, my miss hit, but <laughs> it, it still went pretty good and uh, numbers are reflecting that. So yeah, it, it definitely feels good. I mean, you said that miss it. I mean, look at your total distance. You got a range from 199.1 to 201.6. It's quite incredible for four shots right in a row. So I'm going to get you to come back and hit that hybrid here again later. But let's hit the AP3 four iron next. All right. Okay, so Jackie, we are four shots in with the hybrid and the four iron. So let's first take a look at numbers. So what's kind of interesting is your club speed numbers are pretty close together. So we notice 76.4 on average with the four iron, 78.6. So two miles an hour slower with the four iron than the hybrid. But the big takeaway for me is the ball speed. You'll notice you're separated by about 10 miles an hour in ball speed and you were crushing that four hybrid yeah the four hybrid felt great um and just it, it comes off the face pretty smooth uh four iron a little uneasy over it just because i don't know i just don't really like long irons in general so i think for me it's just the comfort level with the hybrid definitely showed uh, but i still didn't hit it bad um overall you know, not terrible, but just definitely the hybrid stood out. Yeah, I would say you actually hit that four iron pretty good, but you can definitely notice the big differences in carry distance. We noticed we basically lost about 20 yards of carry distance and about 25 yards of total distance there by playing the four iron over, over the four hybrid. So it's important to note because a lot of people will ask, so how do I fit that if I'm switching to a hybrid, do I get a do I get a four hybrid instead of my four iron? Or do I need to focus maybe more on the, the gapping? Mm -hmm. The gapping is the most important. So a lot of times you may actually need to replace that four iron, possibly with a five hybrid as well, because you want to make sure there's good ga gapping consistently yeah. through the bag. That's what I currently have actually. I have my five iron and then I have a five hybrid. So um, that kind of takes place of that yardage right there. Um, and that four iron is, ho it's how far I hit my five hybrid. So very, uh, similar. Yeah, if we had hit, you got you to hit like a five hybrid versus the four iron, the numbers probably would have been closer to maybe 188, 190 as yeah. opposed to going 200 <laughs> yards total. So yeah. quite, a, quite a large gap, but we wanted to test the two of them because they both have 21 degrees of loft on right. them. We're both hitting with the regular graphite golf shaft that come with them there as well. So it's a good test, but it's really kind of interesting. I mean, I want to come over here to this dispersion. When you're hitting that hybrid, now that is incredible how well you hit that hybrid. Very, very consistent, very, very close to the 180 carry distance. Going, as we mentioned, right around about 200 yards. And you always notice that the circle was smaller than the four iron circle was. Yep. Okay, so let's get you to hit four more shots with the four hybrid and the four iron, and then we'll take a closer look at the numbers. Perfect. That one was good. Not bad. 
But yeah, that, that carry and total distance is definitely jumping around a bit with the four iron too. Yeah. That sounds solid. Yeah. So yeah, your your distances have kind of ranged. Your your total distance and your carry distance has kind of ranged from your lowest was one that looks like one sixty eight, your highest was one eighty five. So close to close to about twenty yard kind of dispersion there. Uh, and then you'll notice your carry distance kind of between 151 and 166. So yeah, it's a bit of a range. Um, now we've only hit four shots with the hybrid, but let's finish up with those last four shots and then we'll see how consistent it is. Uh, so give me four more around about 200. All right. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, that was a miss hit. So even still, so I want to kind of touch on this one. That was a miss hit. Yeah. It, was, it was clear that a miss hit. Your smash factor number definitely dropped down on that one. If we, if we pull up all your other smash factor numbers when you were hitting the hybrid, it was, you know, we're talking close to 1.50 every single time. So we noticed that your ball speed dropped by up to 10 miles an hour on that shot. Yeah. Notice that the total distance still was 191. Your average is about 198. Mm -hmm. So your consistency Clearly that was a miss that we know the spin rate dropped, the yep. height dropped, but the consistency with that particular shot was way better than your consistency with your misses with, with an iron. Right. And I know you were getting tired, Jackie. <laughs> Thanks so much for helping us shoot all these videos today. Yep. Um, but you did have that one miss it out there, but otherwise those white dots are also very, very close together there. So that's, that's awesome to see. Let's take a look at the averages and look at the, anything that stands out to us. So still just a little bit different with regards to club speed, about two mile an hour difference. A little bit faster with the, with the hybrid. Ball speed, about seven miles an hour faster with, with the hybrid there too. Your efficiency was a little bit better, even including that miss it in there, that you, those couple of miss hits in there with yeah. the hybrid that you had. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. If you look across the board, is kind of the, these plus or minus numbers. So the total plus or minus plus three point six versus plus or minus three point nine. That definitely kind of stood out to me. Now you did have a couple of missits in there that flew a little lower, but in general the ball still stayed fairly high for you with the hybrid as well. So that that was pretty good. Switch just to carry distance. You can clearly see these are the ones that you miss hit a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then if you go to total distance, you can see how the circle gets kind of closer together with regards to your, your numbers. Right. Yeah. yeah, I definitely feel, I mean, I've always been a hybrid player. So for me, feeling more comfortable with the hybrid, um, I think, you, I mean, you can tell just by the numbers, I am definitely more comfortable with that and swinging a little bit harder with that. Um, four iron is just definitely doesn't, I don't feel as comfortable uh, over a four iron than with a hybrid. A lot of that is just, um, you know, hitting hybrids for most of my life. So uh, it comes with that. But I thought overall, um, four iron wasn't terrible. I mean, I definitely had some good shots with it. Uh, but the hybrid, you know, certainly takes the cake on this. Yeah, I think a hybrid, it just inspires confidence. Just knowing that if you miss hit it a little bit, you're going to get away with a little bit. The way the, the center of gravity on the, on the iron's position compared to a hybrid is completely different. The irons push very far forward on the center of gravity because it's a smaller profile. Where a hybrid, the weights kind of push back, which caused the ball to launch a little higher. And it really helps increase the MOI of that club, the, the forgiveness. And you see that with drivers these days, all their weights kind of push back, mm -hmm. get the ball to launch a little higher, go a little bit further there as well. But biggest takeaway for me here is, especially when in the fitting environment, is fitting to, uh, fitting to ball speed. So fitting to ball speed, we'll notice that your ball speed here was separated by seven or eight miles an hour. So for us to try and fit to that ball speed, and usually it's around about every club's about a five mile an hour difference, means that we would have to change it up. So we would probably have to give you a five hybrid instead of the four hybrid to help with your gapping. Yep. Give you that 10 to 15 yard gap between each club. So it's gonna be player dependent once again, but one thing we noticed for sure is you hit that hybrid. Not only did you hit it more consistent, but it was definitely more straighter there as well. You can yeah. see that he had a tr trend to leave the four iron a little bit open, a little to the right, mm -hmm. where with the exception of the one miss at here, which still wasn't as far right as the other four irons, 
you were hitting it dead straight. Yeah. That's probably the biggest takeaway for me too. So why make this game hard? Why hit a three iron? Why hit a four iron? Even a five iron if you've got slower swing speed. Yeah. Uh, consider a hybrid. That's what I'm going to say and that's what I'll kind of preach is forgiveness is important in this game. If you want to enjoy this golf game, we all need forgiveness. Absolutely. So if you're having a hard time with your longer irons in your bag, you may want to consider playing a hybrid instead. A hybrid or even possibly like utility iron. Something that's going to get the ball to go a little bit further. It's going to fly a little higher and be more forgiving on your miss hits. So I don't even play a three iron in my bag. I play a more forgiving club instead. The game has evolved so much with regards to technology and playing something more forgiving doesn't hurt anybody in this game. So make sure to come in to second swing to get fit and figure out with your fitter where you should make that transition in your bag, whether you should be playing a, a hybrid or whether you should be playing irons in your longer clubs, and we'll be happy to help you out. So I really hope you enjoyed this content. Once again, subscribe if you can. We've got plenty of other great content like this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>